supposed to go to Orlando today for um, Aiden's birthday. My youngest one. He turned four. But there's a hurricane coming, so now we're gonna try to prepare for a hurricane. Okay. You keep saying it's my birthday. It's happy birthday to everyone. Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone's gonna have a birthday. <laughs> oh, everyone in the next three months will be having a birthday. I'm all about living in Florida and stuff. But if you have like a birthday, like my wife or my kid, that lands on like August or September, you're gonna have a couple of years where your birthday is gonna blowing candles inside of a boarded room. Uh, because yeah, hurricanes in Florida are uh, the real deal. <laughs> When going hurricane shopping, make sure you have at least the basic necessities. You need one, make sure you have water. Two, she have food. You need food. It's number two. You need to eat. You can live without food for a couple of days, but you're gonna want it eventually. Number three, transportation. Make sure you have gas. Water. Ah, oh, grocery store shopping is always never fun. Thank you. I feel like I should buy some beer. This is what happens when you do your uh, storm shopping really late. There's no water left. It's okay, we have some cases at home, so we'll be fine. Anyone want soda? racks around me. Maybe that's too much. I'll buy one get one deals on bread. Damn. Uh, if you want wine, might be cheap. Buy one get one deals on wine. It's not a bad idea. All this hipster movement of like eat healthy, you're never near canned food anymore. No one buys canned food because like whenever you're there, like yeah, this guy's buying canned food. He's unhealthy. Oh my gosh. Damn, the canned food aisle here is empty, kind of. There's still a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of canned food. A lot of different flavors. They're just no longer on shelves during a hurricane. Ah, sugar. buying a case of my favorite water it's two for four sounds like expensive actually but I like this water so screw it I need peanut butter um, oh I didn't get beer but I guess that I'll just stop by a friend's house wow this is really loud I'm sorry so hurricane and shopping it can be kind of stressful but if you do it a couple of days out Stress isn't as bad as you normally would. You know, hurricanes will always be stressful no matter what. But, you know, one good thing about hurricanes, it helps keep our economy going. I never ever buy like this much goober. <laughs> that fun. Great, oh, great. I love it. I love stroller at home. Tip number 35 about shopping for, for hurricane season. Leave the stroller at home. So far, I've seen lines at the uh, gas station. Drive uh, fuel efficient. Because <laughs> everyone is draining the gas stations and they're like, they have um, like uh, jerry cans in the back of their trucks and they're filling those out. And like, alright guys, come on. It's gonna be a while. Um, car's in eco mode right now. Look at this doomsday vehicle. I don't know if you see how tiny that girl is it's right next to that truck. That thing's huge. That thing is huge. Oh my goodness. The 
It is huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It sounds like the Reaper of the, like Batman. Jeez. Thing was huge. <laughs> kids are screaming in the background because they're doing kid stuff. Well, the hurricane prep, don't forget to eat the food that you're not going to be able to cook or you have to keep frozen or something because you're going to, your power is going to go out. But during a hurricane, it's pretty important to detach a little bit every now and then from the news. You know, like the entire day you'll be watching the news and you'll be freaking out and scaring yourself. Maybe take a break for like 30 minutes. So it's getting real. Places are running out of gas in Florida. And if you haven't gotten your water, um, it's not a bad idea to use a filter. Filter. It's by Britta. I bought it because Steph Curry was on the cover. Don't forget to bathe your dog. You're gonna be indoors with him for a little bit. So, he's gonna be stinky. I wanna be close because he's gonna be afraid of stuff. So, don't forget to give him a bath. <laughs> Wally. So it's the second day of preparing for this hurricane. I turn on the news and it looks like we're not going to get a direct hit. Uh, house is all boarded up. What do you do? Well, you leave your boards up until it actually completely passes. It could still be sort of damaging. So you just keep your boards up until you're all in the clear. It, what do you do with all the stuff that you just bought, right? Oh, you're gonna drink the water anyway, so there you go. You're gonna have bottled water for ever. I was like, oh, but all the... It's loud. You're gonna drink the bottled water anyways. So, just cross that off your budget and the, all the canned food and if you're a health nut Thanksgiving is around the corner from hurricane season so save the cans pretty sure there'll be like a food drive where you can drop the food off and stuff it'll be fine and hurricane season is not done yet keep your stock you know whatever you bought now you're not gonna have to buy it next time all right guys I'll prepare for the worst hope for the best see ya Oh my god! Oh. It's the gloves, I can't feel it, you know? Can't feel it. It's the gloves. 